Hey guys, today we are taking another look at some goodies from my Japan trip haul. We're going to be checking out these Daiso watercolors and these Daiso watercolor brush pins. So keep watching. As a Daiso fan and someone who lives thousands of miles away from an actual Daiso, of course, I hit up every Daiso I could while visiting Japan. From Osaka to Tokyo, I visited I won't say them all because Daiso is pretty ubiquitous, but I visited quite a few and I was super excited by their springtime selection. In their arts and crafts section, I found two golden things. I found a beautiful watercolor paint set with six milliliter tubes containing white, yellow, yellow, green, green, blue, dark blue, red, orange, light orange, yellow ochre, brown and black. And the information is actually written in multiple languages, which is nice because I would not be able to read this to you guys because I can't read kanji. So close to cap tightly after use. Do not store, wait, bleh. do not use or store in a place subject to direct sunlight, high temperature or high humidity. Well, that's just kind of a watercolor duh there. Um, this is not food. Do not put it in your mouth. May not wash out of clothes. Use and keep out of the reach of children. Keep away from fire and other sources of heat. The tube is made of polyethylene. The paints are made of paints, gum arabic, water, and stabilizer. So, whereas the water brushes, drawings done with watercolor pens can easily can be easily given the look of a watercolor painting. I just don't even. And then it has filling instructions. So, I have here my handy dandy Canson XL mixed media pad. We're gonna do a swatch and unbox today. And if these are any good, then I'll do a little painting with them. And for those of you who don't know, Daiso is sort of like our equivalent of the dollar store. Everything is about 150 yen to $2 unless otherwise marked. And these remind me of Yasutomo or um, Marie Chinese style watercolors. So they're probably going to be pretty opaque and handle more like wash. But we're gonna find out, and we're gonna find out together. So inside are our 12 little polyethylene tubes. And since this wasn't marked otherwise, I believe this was uh, 150 yen or about approximately $1.50 USD. A twist on color coordinated cap, and then the paint's just right there inside. The water brushes are pretty standard for water brushes. I don't even think there were any size labeling, so they are what they are. And these were not otherwise marked, so I believe they're also $1.50. And they're very similar to um, sort of the standard Chinese water brushes you can get off of like eBay, like Ohuhu or um, Mozart, those kind of water brushes. So I'm gonna take them over to the sink get them filled up and we'll start swatching. So I have here two black lines on the paper. We're going to use that as our opacity test. I also have the two Daiso brush pins and then a regular synthetic watercolor brush, as well as a cup of clean water and some paper towels. So I'm gonna begin by hopefully only putting a, ooh, these are watery already. Only putting a small dot on the paper. And I actually picked up a lot of art supplies from Daiso because I thought they would be fun to do an art supply challenge with. So if that sounds like you're up your alley, you want to see how I handle Japanese dollar store art supplies in a challenge video, let me know in the comments below. I want to hear from you guys. Some of these dots are much bigger than others. It's actually kind of hard to control portions with these little tubes. It just kind of all wants to squirt out. These tubes don't seem to seal very tight because I, I open each one, some bits of dried up paint seem to fall out onto the paper. Ooh, that's gonna be too much. Ooh, this one is like almost completely dried in the tube. Each tube said it was six milliliters of paint. I have some five milliliter paint tubes from Holbein, so these look a little short to me, but I mean, 
not so square, so maybe they got more paint in all those nooks and crannies. Next, we're gonna take just the regular watercolor brush, gonna do a swatch test going down. Ooh, I was hoping we'd get some decent gradation in color, but it seems pretty anemic to begin with. Definitely seems like they're using some optical brighteners in there, and they also seem a little bit, you know, like gummy, I guess. Chalky is also another good word for these. These might work as like faux gouache in a pinch though. They're already making my water super cloudy, which tells me there are a lot of optical brighteners in these. And I mean, I, I am aware that I paid about $1.50 for these paints. My expectations were not high and they already perform better than anything I could have gotten at an American Dollar Tree. And are pretty comparable to those Tiger brand watercolors that Hame sent me. Although I did really enjoy playing with those. It's always fun to see how other people's version of the Dollar Tree fares against the American one. And while I always love visiting American Dollar Trees, they're kind of sad compared to like everybody else's. So these are definitely kind of gummy, but they have decent color to them and the brilliance is really nice. I'm gonna let these dry and then check back in with you guys. All right, so this has had a chance to dry. Definitely have a bit of a grainy texture. Gonna go ahead and try and get them to lift up. I'm scrubbing moderately hard and the water's already kind of filthy from the paints themselves. That's most of what this brown is. Uh, but they're not really moving too much, at least not on this paper. Grabbing one of the water brushes. I think the water brushes are probably a great bargain since water brushes tend to go for like seven, eight, sometimes as much as nine, even higher sometimes. Uh, I'm usually pretty good about, you know, making sure I only buy them on sale, getting them when Michaels has like a two for kind of thing. But these Daiso water brushes were like $1.50, maybe $2. So I, certainly if I live near a Daiso and they had them in stock, because not all Daisos have the same, same stock, I would pick some up. They don't seem to be particularly leaky. They are fairly responsive. So if you like water brushes for your actual factual watercolors or for doodling or whatever reason you like water brushes, maybe you like to fill them with fountain pen inks and use them as brush pens, whatever. This is a really economical way to get your brush pens. I guess you could find them on Wish and just hope for a good deal. The paints themselves, I have, I have like really mixed feelings about these. I think I will use them as part of the Daiso Art Supply Challenge. I'll probably throw these brush pins back in with them. So at least I have a couple of decent art supplies to play around with. They're not bad. They're certainly not the worst I've ever used. I don't think they would reconstitute well. Um, like if, if we let them dry, I don't think they would be good for that. I also don't think you can get too many layers out of these. They're definitely kind of soapy, kind of goopy. I don't have any idea what the ratio of paint to binder to fillers are. Can't be great, but better than a lot of American inexpensive art supplies. Again, I have to keep in mind that I paid probably $1.50 for these and I got 12 of them. You could probably do something with them in a pinch. They'd probably work decently well for a young artist, especially if they weren't expecting too much out of it or they had like a really light kind of airy style. Ooh, the brown is terrible. The brown, when dry, went super chalky. Look, here's the area I've kind of reactivated versus how chalky that went. So that brown, that burnt sienna is just, no good. The other colors though, 
don't, I think the brown's the worst. The other colors don't seem bad at all. And maybe I made the mistake of letting them dry at all. Maybe they're really like Chinese watercolors where you pour out what you need as you need it. I only kind of let them dry for like 15 minutes. So it's not like I stepped away for a day, but they seem to have dried quick and are a little difficult to reconstitute. But they're fun for doodling. Like if you have a Daiso near you and uh, you're just looking for something to kind of play with, these could be good for that. Or if you have a kid who has like a big school art project, these could be good for just sort of filling the space instead of using more expensive art supplies. All right, so that was a look at the Daiso watercolors and the Daiso brush pins. I actually really like the brush pins. I think they're comparable to most other brush pins on the market at a much lower price point. Hold a lot of water. They're not leaky. I usually have a problem with brush pins being leaky. They're not leaky. They're not drippy. These are pretty good brush pins. So I really like these. As for the watercolors, I mean, you can watercolor with them. They're not great watercolors. I wouldn't recommend them. I wouldn't say they're comparable to other watercolors the way these brush pins are comparable to other brush pins. So if you're actually looking for art supplies to like actually use, I'd skip these. But if you're looking for something for a challenge video that isn't gonna just like completely wreck you, these could be fun without like making you cry. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you'll keep an eye out for some of my other Japanese art supply reviews. Um, you guys can check out the haul video to get an idea of what I'm going to be covering in this sort of mini series. And I hope you guys will check out my other watercolor reviews, tips, tricks, and tutorials, both here on the channel and over at natosoup.blogspot.com. I hope to see you guys again really soon, and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye!